I do. Yes. But I also okay. see your I see the pre, I see the slides on the left too. Hmm. But we can deal with it. Um, Amy, could you do me a favor since um we have not officially met? I we know Christy very well. Could you um just take a second and then just um introduce yourself real quick and then we'll get the the presentation started? Sure. Did that change the view? It no. did, yes. Well, it okay, did. perfect. You should hit those three little dots under a surety and then hit hide presenter view. Is that better for you? There you go. Yeah, perfect. Thanks, Jimmy. Great. Well, my name is Amy Purdue Smith, and I am part of our regional sales team here at Assurity. And you will work with Christy Magorian and Doug Bador are your points of contact. Um, both of them had other obligations today, so I'm stepping in to help out to make sure that we get you up to speed on our AxiFlex product. Our AxiFlex product is actually an accident only death benefit and it also has an accident only disability rider so it's a great product that we're going to talk about today and how that will also fit in with your market and what you're already doing in your business um, so today we're going to talk a bit more about assurity we're going to go over the axiflex product and give you some ways that you can position the product Assurity is a mutual company located here in Lincoln, Nebraska, so kind of the center of the United States. And we are really committed to sustainability. So if you're working with clients who may not have heard of Assurity or um, are unsure about our company, we are a very financially stable company. We have an AM best rating of an A minus, excellent. We've been in the industry over 128 years, so we have a pretty good handle on how to do business. And we're very invested in our community and our world. So Assurity is a B corporation. So I don't know if you're familiar with that, but what that is is we're very committed as a company to give back. So our associates do a lot of volunteer work. We are in a LEED Gold certified building that is all recyclable and very environmentally friendly. We do a lot to help our agency partners grow. So all around, very solid company that you're working with here. Excellent. All right. Okay, so as we've been doing more and more research with our consumers, we have found that all consumers out there, regardless of what they're purchasing, want to see more options. They're interested in lower costs, but more importantly, less time. So if you think about your own purchasing habits and how the world has switched a lot more to online shopping or even grocery delivery to your home, Everybody is wanting to be able to have that choice and to get things done faster. So part of our mission at Assurity is to help your consumers get the products in their hands faster and have less hassles with underwriting and just generally doing business. So I'm going to give you some tips on how AxiFlex plays nicely with meeting that consumer need. So AxiFlex is actually an accident-only death policy. So it does fall in the category of life insurance, but unique to Assurity, you have to hold a health license in order to actually be able to sell the product. So it's a life product, but it's on a health chassis from an actual product build standpoint. So it does provide an accident only death benefit with non-medical underwriting. So the only underwriting question is one health question, have you ever tested positive for HIV? So that is the only actual health question on the application. 
But the big thing to keep in mind is the coverage trigger is only accidents. So this is not going to pay a life insurance benefit if you die of an illness. So if you come down with a catastrophic disease, you get cancer, you suddenly have a stroke, something of that nature, this is not going to pay. So it's really important that you keep in mind this is accident only, but the great thing about this plan is it does provide a low cost alternative for your customer. A lot of your customers may not qualify for traditional life insurance, but most likely just given that one HIV question, they will qualify for the accident only AxiFlex policy. Um, another key point to remember is that actually 5% of all deaths are accidental. So even though you may not think it's such a big factor compared to illnesses, it actually is one that comes top of the statistics. Um, here's just a few more statistics on how often accidents actually occur. The other product feature that our AxiFlex does offer is a rider for accident only disability. So that offer, that rider will actually go up to $1,800 of benefit for a two year period. And we will cover occupation classes that we'll cover with our standard disability plan. So the majority of all occupations are able to have coverage. And if your client does go ahead and go on claim for the accident only disability rider, that does not erode the death benefit. So it's important to realize that those are actually two different buckets of money. And so that's a great value add for your client as well. Um, I'm gonna give you the specifics here. So it does sound like you're doing some work in that final expense space. So keep in mind, this policy only does go to age 60, but it does have a high face amount available clear up to 350,000. Um, it does have the three riders available. The disability, which I've talked about quite a bit, the return of premium, and then also the waiver of premium. Jumped ahead a little bit. There is a bit more detail on the accident only disability rider. So as I mentioned, they, the um, client can qualify up to $1,800 a month and for up to two years. Now there is an elimination period of 90 days, which is pretty common for us on the disability side. The majority of our Century Plus disability policies are in that 90 day elimination period. So this does provide a great value add. We also offer return of premium. So this is helpful if you have a client who just isn't sure that they're actually going to need the plan or if they're on the fence about it, you can um, give them the offering of return of premium. So when you run the quote, you'll actually see the breakdown of all of these riders, and you'll see that they all are very inexpensive. This product also does offer the waiver of premium rider, and this will come into play if your client does go on disability. So there's a few caveats there. Um, it is important to remember that the waiver of premium is only issued up to age 55. Now this will give you more nuts and bolts, like when we're actually talking about premiums. So what's interesting here is it's a bit atypical from what you think of in life insurance because the younger ages are actually more expensive. And the reason for that is the younger ages are generally more likely to engage in riskier things. So whether their occupations are riskier or just maybe their fun activities, perhaps they like to go boating, they have a motorcycle, they have an RV, you know, they do things like this in their off hours that are a bit riskier than your older clientele. So this one is flipped as far as the younger ages are a bit more expensive. 
Um, you will see though the riders are offered and they're all very inexpensive as well. Even down to the disability rider is just about half of what that base policy is. Now the riders are going to vary as far as availability by state and also you don't have to have any of the riders. So if your client is very cost effective and they're very um, worried about the cost, you can go with simply a base policy if really their concern is just covering their death benefit. So a 45-year-old male who perhaps does a lot of traveling and a lot of airline travel for their business, you know, it's very inexpensive for him even just to have a base policy of 1958 to cover that business activity that, you know, he could die in a plane crash. This is a comparison to show the difference between males and females. So here you'll see that the female pricing is lower. And again, all the same offerings from the rider standpoint and not such a huge variation on the ages. Um, our actuaries have just studied this for so long that they have come to realize that the males tend to be a bit riskier. They tend to engage more in those hobbies that are of higher risk of an accident than a female. And just in general, are a bit less cautious. So actuarially, it's come out that um, they just have a bit fewer accidents than the males. So the pricing is reflective of that. There really are very few exclusions. Um, like I said, if you're going to get the disability rider, it will have to fall within an occupation that's accepted on our Century Plus, which is our flagship disability plan. We also have the main exclusions, like you cannot engage in anything that's illegal, you cannot commit suicide, you know, just your standard exclusions and limitations that you'd find on the majority of policies. So I want to make sure that you have a good feel for the target market for this product. And we had talked through um, riskier occupations. So here you'll see a police officer and we have no restriction as far as they can carry a gun. So if you're dealing with police officers or security guards or people that um, have those higher occupations, firefighters, um, contractors typically have a higher risk, roofers of falling off a roof. So all of those are great ones to consider when you're thinking about a product that will give them that extra coverage. We've talked a lot about how they may not be able to qualify for traditional life insurance, but even if you do have a client with traditional life insurance, this can be a really good added feature for them, especially if they are working in a profession that is higher risk or more laborious, like if they're a contractor or an electrician where they're going places that might be a bit more dangerous. Um, also for those people who are wanting to travel a lot, spend a lot of time on the water or motorcycles, it is really good for those people as well. Um, this is Ken the biker, and he is a very big adventurer. He likes to do a lot of long distance bike rides and also likes to go on a lot of rough terrain. So you'll see him out rain or shine, and the likelihood if you ride a bike for years and years that you're going to have a bike crash is actually pretty high. So this is another key market for us is those folks that don't necessarily get paid for what they do, but in their off hours, they like to go on some adventures. Another key market for us are the motorcyclists or those that want to go snowmobiling or skiing. Um, all of those types of hobbies are also really good to consider when it comes to our AxiFlex plan. Another big advantage with this plan is how quickly we get it in the hands of your client. So we talked at the very beginning about how our consumer data is showing everybody wants that instant gratification. 
They want to get their policy. They want to get it through underwriting and just have it and be set. So we actually have a same day service guarantee. So if you use our e-application and it comes in before 1 p.m. Central Time, we'll get it out the same day. So as long as your contracting is in place and all of the application is in good order, we're going to turn that around right away. If you're a bit more traditional and like to use paper apps, we offer a two-day service guarantee on that. So if your application comes in in good order and by some reason we don't get it right back out the door, you get $100. So we definitely stand behind our quick turnaround time to protect your client. The other ad advantage that we have with AxiFlex is after the policy has been enforced for a year, the client can choose to credit their premiums to another Assurity product. So they could decide to go with a fully underwritten plan or go into the non-medical. So if they would like to get a whole life product or a standalone disability plan, any of our product lines, then we will credit their first full year's premium. So that's also a great advantage to this plan. AxiFlex can be quoted and you can find more marketing materials on our SureLink website. Um, if you don't know how to log into this, I'm sure Joe can help you get set up. But once you have an agent code with Assurity, you will have the ability to go in and run our AssureLink website. So this is going to really be your headquarters for your Assurity business. You're going to be able to run illustrations here. You can do applications, you can submit your e-applications, you can find marketing materials, so you can have glossy brochures sent to you free of charge for you to present with your client. You can also keep track of any pending requirements or outstanding items in the My Business Triangle, as well as all the contracting information and commission statements are there too. You also can track your progress towards our Leaders Conference using the yellow triangle in the center for the Leaders Conference. And this year, all of your 2019 production will earn you, hopefully, a spot on our trip to Prague. So we just recently announced this destination and definitely a fairy tale city that I'm sure you would all love the opportunity to visit. So you can get more information from Joe on what those qualifications are and how your Assurity business can help you get a seat on the plane to Prague. And here is um, up close and personal, Christy and Doug that I mentioned are your regional team. So you can always reach back out to them or go back through Joe with any questions that you have on AxiFlex or any of the other products that we have in our portfolio. Um, Assurity is here to help you. I will give you one other quick um, scenario. I just had a call with a wholesaler yesterday who had a case where their client is a nurse. So he's a male nurse. He had gastric bypass surgery 18 months ago and is getting along really well with that, but was severely diabetic before the procedure and is getting that diabetes more under control now post-surgery. But due to the recent surgery and the strong history and control issues that he had with the diabetes, he did not qualify at this time for our traditional disability plan, which is what he was searching for. But we were able to give him an offer for AxiFlex, so a full $350,000 death benefit and an $1,800 a month DI plan. Now, granted, the coverage is for accident only, but he was thrilled to at least be able to have coverage and buy him some time to heal more from that surgery to then hopefully be able to get everything under control and reapply in the next year or two. So it really can be a great avenue for you if you have clients that are hard to place. All right, I will turn it back over to you, Joe. I don't know if 
you have other questions or if you wish to field those? Um, yeah, I do have some um, some questions. That was just while you were talking, I was just um, getting a doing a quote on the uh, on my phone, just kind of messing with that a little bit. So I, I think yeah. what the what the quotes on um, if I understand, you guys don't have a mobile app, right? We do not. We are um, right. working on getting more of those quoters out in a mobile fashion. Um, there is that quick quote calculator on a sure link that you can use for our AxiFlex and all of our simplified products. Right. Now, the other workaround, too, is I believe if you just go to on your phone, if you just go to assurity.com. Exactly. I was going to say we do have it on our consumer website. There is a calculator there that you could access on a smartphone. Yeah, that's pretty easy because then you don't have to log in. So, guys, if for Assurity, even if you don't have a, um, a writing number, if you just go to your smartphone and type in Assurity.com, go to the consumer website, then you can save that to your home screen, and it'll work just like a just like an app will. And then you can go in and you can get quotes and you can quote all the products. It, it works really, really cool. Um, and then the electronic apps, I'm assuming. Um, it's tablet friendly. You can do that on a tablet. It is tablet friendly, and it's powered through the iPipeline iGo system. So okay, all right. Familiar with that. All right, perfect. Now, just a, a few more questions, if you don't mind. Sure. Okay. So um, I know, as far as the health questions, there's only one health question with you know whether or not you have AIDS or not, which very rarely is ever an issue here. But what about on the application? Are there any lifestyle questions like smoking, uh, drug use, or like reckless driving or DUIs? Can you address that a little bit? The application, um, it does show those exclusions. So where I brought up that screen about the engaging in illegal activities, drug use, all of that. So it will ask about that. And if you want to, I can send over a copy of an application if that's helpful for you to pass around to your team. Got it. Okay, so that is one of the, the questions. So if you have a, um, you know, as an agent and you're writing someone up that you know that is an active drug user, you shouldn't write the policy then, right? Correct, correct. Okay, all right. And then um, do you guys run a uh, motor vehicle uh, report? We do not. Okay, but you are asking about driving, right? Isn't there a question on, on the app about reckless well, or DUI? Claim, right. If you go on claim, we won't pay the claim if it's as a result of intentional. So a reckless driving or anything malicious or negligent. Okay, but as far as in, because I was wondering how you're issuing the policy so quick. So, um, so you're not running. Okay, so just. So I know, I guess you're, you're not running a, a motor vehicle report then. Right. Okay. All right. And then could you give maybe one or two examples of an occupation that would be excluded? Yes. A pilot would be excluded. Um, we also don't write oil riggers. Yeah. So anyone that's out there doing that. Um, and also miners. So I try to think of it as if you go too high like a pilot or too low like underground for mining, we're not going to write that. Got it. Okay. All right. So no coal miners, right? Right. But we will take um, a huge broad brush of actual occupations. So teachers, nurses, dental hygienists, contractors, electricians, plumbers. You know, so it really is a broad brush outside of that. Right. And I really like too, like um, the, you know, like first responders. So you're, you know, your paramedics, yes. your firemen, your police officers. Um, yes, that's a really common place that we see this product sold because it is hard yeah. to find coverage for those that carry a gun and that engage in those more dangerous occupations day in and day out. Got it. And then what's the calculation for um disability is it based on the face amount or is it based on how much you make it's based on the face amount so when you go into the quote 
it uh -huh. will tell you what they qualify for. What the maximum? That. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's going to be capped on their income, though, too, as well, right? Um, we don't require any income docs for it. Well, what about when you make a claim, though? Would you require them then? No, we're not going to require them on the back end because that's why we only go up to an $1,800 monthly okay. benefit for a two-year mask. All right, well, that's cool. So you could have someone that, you know, works at McDonald's, I guess, that makes, you know, 2000 a month and could <clears throat> apply for 1800 in disability then. Right, and it is only going to pay out for the two years. And Correct. It has um, that 90-day elimination. 90-day so. elimination, yeah, which is great. Um, yeah, you're talking about bikers, you know. I, it's kind of funny. I actually know, not funny, but I know two people that um, that are bikers that were in serious um, accidents. So I know that stuff does happen. Um, yeah, it then, really does. You do it for years and years, the odds are you're going to crash, you know? Right. Yeah, and I'm talking about the the bikes that you you pedal, not the right. motor, motorcycle. Right. Not right. A motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So then the other question I have too is regarding the return of premium. Did I misread that, or 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 is that you can get return of premium up to age sixty? You can get that up to age. I think, yeah, that is correct. And it has to be in place for six years and then um, you're due the full return. So there is a scale on the product guide. Wow, that's a pretty amazing. And the, pro and the, the policy, um, it, it terminates at age 75, right? Right. Okay, so you could be up to age 60 uh, and still get the return of premium and then cash out at age 75 in 15 years and get 100%. Right. Okay, that's that's pretty amazing. Um, and then I'm not sure if I caught the, on the DI, um, the DI rider, what's the, how old, what's the maximum age that you can get the disability rider? 55. 55. Okay. All right. That one's a little bit younger then. So 55, the max age there. Um, and I think those are all my, all my questions. Let me, uh, Jimmy, do you have any questions for Amy? I, do. I sure do. Okay. <laughs> I, Amy. <clears throat> okay. So, um, what would trigger the, uh, income benefit? Does it have to be an accident that causes the disability or is it possible it's a medical disability? How does that work? It has to be the result of an accident. Okay. So it's not going to cover any sickness, absolutely no illness. It's going to need to be the result of like a car crash, a motorcycle crash. Um, maybe you've fallen off your roof, you know, cleaning leaves out of your gutters, something like that. What if you just throw your back out? You know what I mean? Like, uh, I mean, I know people that have, um, you know, really, you can, I guess you can call it an accident, but I don't know. I mean, just like uh, twist the wrong way and next thing you know, they're, you know, have a, a bad back and have to go on disability. Would that be covered? Um, depending on, you know, what the cause is. Yeah. I mean, if they don't really know and they think that it was just the result of an accident or just kind of a fluke, that would certainly be something we would review. Keep in okay. mind, though, there is that 90 day elimination period. So you have to think about right. how many of those twisted or, you know, sore backs actually go and fulfill that 90 day elimination period. Got it. Yeah, good point on that. Jimmy, anything else? Any other questions? Um, so I, I just wanted to clarify, you know, I don't know if this is this the right way to say it, but like there's there's a lot of times I'm meeting with people in the field, uh, particularly truck drivers come to mind and um, they're interested in getting a, a disability income uh, policy. And a lot of these truck drivers are diabetic and uh, their their health is in bad shape because they don't exercise. They're always driving. And so they're, 
it seems so often that they would never qualify for the disability income policies, but this is a great opportunity because they're getting a accidental death policy that has a disability income rider. So therefore, there is no medical underwriting other than the HIV question. And uh, as long as the, uh, you know, the either the accidental death or the accidental disability is what triggers the benefit, they would qualify unless they're one of those uh, uh, occupations that, that are not eligible. Is that correct? You are exactly correct. And we actually write a lot of truck drivers on our disability plan. So that is an approved occupation, whether they're over the road or they come home at night. Um, the other thing to keep in mind with AxiFlex is there isn't a build chart. So a lot of times those truck drivers are a bit on the heavy side. That's also not a factor for the underwriting mm -hmm. on AxiFlex. Yeah, that's, that's huge so right there. Yeah, the severe diabetics and the um, heavier build charts a lot of times go hand in hand, and that's not any kind of a knockout for AxiFlex. Awesome. All right, I have two more questions. Jimmy, do you have any more? Uh, no, I think that covered it. Okay, so Amy, I just have two more questions, and then we'll uh, we'll let you go. Okay. My next question is, is uh, what's a surety on this product, um, what's a surety stance um, as far as writing people uh, depending on their, their, um, their legal status here in the States? Do they have to be a citizen or, um, you know, what if they're like documented with a green card or maybe they have an I-10 number? They do have to be a citizen. Okay, all right, that, that's cut and dry. And then my last question is, is does this product have to be sold face-to-face -face, or can we sell it over the phone and do an electronic um, e-application? Absolutely over the phone with the electronic application. So okay. the agent does need to be involved in order to sign the application and take it and review it, but they can do it all over the phone and using our e-app process. Okay, and then, um, so how the, so there's a like electronic signing where you would like the like e-doc sign it you there's like an email that goes to the client and they sign it yeah. is that how it works that's exactly how it works okay all right beautiful we're familiar with that through uh, iPipeline already yep that um, that's exactly what powers it so it'd be that yeah. process that you're used to awesome Amy this is a, this I tell you what um, when when I first got into the uh, insurance business 10 years ago in 2009, this is one of my favorite products. You used to sell the heck out of it. And yeah, um, it's great because it's close to guarantee issue. You know, it's certainly as close as we come. Right. And the funny thing is I used to, you know, because I would sell it to people that were in, you know, typically some of them were in, in bad health and it was like, Man, all you could get them, you know, all they could really afford is maybe, you know, a five or ten thousand dollar whole life policy because of their health. And man, we do an AxiFlex program. And guys, one of just a real quick sales technique on the AxiFlex. Um, I mean, I've sold people that have heart, heart attacks, they have cancer, you know, but now they they're like they're they're in remission, or maybe the guy had a heart attack, you know, a year ago or six months ago. And I would just say something like this. You said, you know, Bob, you had that heart attack six months ago, but it looks like you're doing really, really good right now. Do you feel like you're in pretty good health? And he, you know, like pump his chest out. Yeah, I feel really good. I said, well, since you're in really good health right now, it's reasonable to assume that if you were to pass away within the next 10, 15 years, there's probably a high probability it would be an accident, not because of natural causes, right? And he'd say, yeah. And guys, that's the perfect segue to to take someone that maybe is not in good health and, uh, you know, show them the benefits of having um, an accidental um, policy. So just a little a little sales tip there at the end. Absolutely. Hey, that was a great tip. Joe. I got one last quick question. Sure. How about if they're incarcerated? 
we will not take that either. Okay. <laughs> Good try, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. No, do not go to the prison and take applications. No. <laughs> well, you know, they, they have computers now at the prison. We could do an e-app. <laughs> right. No, no, no. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. All right, Amy. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, this has uh, been great information. I've learned a lot. A great refresher. I learned stuff I didn't know about the product. So thank you so much. Okay. You bet. Thank you. And have a great weekend. All right. You too. All right, guys, that's it. We're going to go ahead and end our call right now. Uh, Jimmy, you have a great weekend. Thanks everybody for, uh, for being on the call. All right. Bye -bye. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye.